moved into this comfy cottage on the Blue Rainbow, where I met my treasure-hunting friends, Dirk and Drock. One day, beneath the Blue Rainbow, they discovered an ancient book. Together we explore its secrets. The book speaks of a village that was buried, and of the children who somehow managed to escape. What had begun as playful adventure became a quest, a battle between the lost children and the magic that held them on the mountain of storm. A prophecy. All the children will remain trapped on the mountain of storm until someone weaves the treasures of the lost village into a living tapestry. And you know, it's going to be a lot brighter when she finished cleaning that window. Oh, it's not. our story, it'll cheer us up a little bit. Hmm, where were we? Oh, I remember. Actually, Jenna was waking up to a morning just like this one. The sun was shining brightly in the sky, and I think she must have slept in. She was certain that today she'd find her twin brother, Zack. Well, she didn't find him right away. But she did find the two little boys. They came rushing into her arms from a room in the back of the shrine there. They said, come with us, come with us. We have a surprise for you. And they did. 
the room opened out into a kitchen. There was a little table, three little chairs, and a pantry full of food and a stove. We think you know how to operate the stove, the little boy said. And she did. She cooked them all a very good breakfast, which they ate in a hurry, because the little boys wanted to show her what they discovered. They took her down a trail that led to a pond. They rushed around the pond to the right side, but as soon as Jenna put her foot there, she sank in the marshy ground. <gasps> she was just too heavy. Oh, but going around to the left were solid, clean stepping stones. She made her way there, and all of a sudden, a bullfrog jumped out of the water right in her face. <laughs> it made her feel like a huge mosquito.